All right, so just for reference here, this is the size of the existing one, and this is this guy. So you can see, you know, they are much lower profile. I mean, if you had any kind of headroom clearance issue, this would obviously solve a lot of that. And then just the amount of power that these take. And then, you know, these don't need any kind of deflector because of the way these are set up here. All the light goes down, whereas these need the back reflector to help get all the light output down to the ground. So for this one, I'm just gonna take this one off. We'll cut this wire. We're actually going to put a adapter on there. So we go from this wire to a female a standard 110 plug, and then we'll just plug these in and turn them on. All right, hey guys, this is Nate, and this is the Nader Tater channel. Today I'm in here in my uncle's shop, and this section of the barn is about 40 by 56 feet. And you can see he has shop bay lights up above right now. Those are metal halide ones. They're each 400 watts. He has a total of nine of them in here. But I'm going to show these new LED shop bay lights. And we're going to install three of them in place of three of these and show you the difference between, um, you know, not only the light output, but some other the, um, benefits of the LED over these other ones. So. You know, for these lights itself, you can see I have three of them here. These are um, 150 watt a piece is what they claim and 24,000 lumens of light output. So that's really kind of equivalent to more like a 600 watt um, sodium or metal halide bulb. And then I did check, a common question is how much power they actually take. And so I tested it with one of my smart plugs and this one actually measured 167 watts, which is actually surprising because most of the time they overrate these and they claim 150 watts, but then I'll measure it and it'll be 100 or 120 watts of running power. So this actually is pulling a little bit more than they claim uh, the wattages. So uh, that might be why they do claim these ones are 20% brighter than competitors. Um, it might be that they are, they're pulling a little bit more power, but. Um, I don't really care. We want as much uh, light as we can get in here. And so I've tested some other ones on my channel. You can check those out um, for some other uh, LED lights that we've done actually on the other side of this barn. But so I now want to test out these three and see how good they are. If we like these, then we will replace the other six as well. So let's um, show you how these get installed these current ones are just on a hook which is exactly what these come with they come with a uh, hook they also come with a threaded uh, boss that this hook goes into and then it comes with a five foot cable here with a standard 110 ac input they do have two other wires on here this purple and pink wire and this is actually for dimmer so these are uh, the zero to 10 volt dimming capable which means you would need a separate um, you know, set of wires and a special LED dimmer switch that's the zero to 10 volt uh, in order to control the brightness. But you can do that with these. And then like most of these LED stuff, you know, they claim really, really long life, like 50,000 uh, plus hours of life. And um, you know, so let's get these things installed and see how they perform. The only other thing that comes in the box other than what I'm showing here is a little safety cable. So this is a cable that obviously you can throw around um, the, the trusses up there, around like the, the base two by four, just in case the hook were to pull out or fail or whatnot, that is a safety. But otherwise, um, these things will be good to go. Okay, so here it is with six of the kind of standard A19 style light bulbs. These are LED, they're 100 watt equivalent. So, you know, these are considered a bright, you know, standard household light bulb. But in this space here, it is obviously not very bright at all. Um, I mean, you can see, but it's, it's pretty hard. All right, so this space here is 40 by 56, give or take. So 40 in this direction and 56 in that direction. And, you know, I would say this lighting is sufficient for storage, but not really sufficient for working and seeing out there. So let's turn on these, um, existing high bay lights and then we will um, check that out with light and then we will swap out the lights and see how bright it is with the new LEDs in the center.
All right, so this here is a light meter, and this measures lux, which is related to lumens. So lumens is how much light a uh, device puts out in all directions, and then lux is it in a specific area. So uh, one square meter of area, how much light is there, how many lumens is there, is basically a measure of lux. So this device takes the light that shows up on this little um, circle here, and then it does an average and says that's how much lux there is. So in here, if I go right into the middle of the shop, you know, we're about 20, 23 lux. If I go directly underneath one of the uh, A19 size bulbs, I get about 40 lux. And, you know, that's not very bright. For example, that other side of the barn where he has a shop, you know, we just installed um, a lot of these LEDs. We're getting up to 2,000 lux. So a big difference. If I go over here to the lift now, again, about, get out of the shadow, you know, 25 to 30 lux is about what we're getting here. So that's fairly consistent here. We're somewhere between 20 and 40 lux overall in this space with these six A19 bulbs. Here's those three center metal halide lights that are kicked on. These are 400 watt, uh, 220 volt um, configured lights. And uh, now we'll go through and see what the light output is. All right, so right away we see a big difference here. And when I'm right underneath one of these guys by the high-low, we're at 375, give or take. If I go right here to the center of the shop, like I was before, it's about 550, 570. You know, if I go back over by the tractor where I was underneath one of the A19s, I think it was 40 before, now it's 240. So you can see even though we're offset from the lights, it's much brighter than obviously if we had turned on the other metal highlights right above us, it would be brighter. I go back over here to the hoist. You know, it does drop down here. We're about 150. And again, this kind of because of the shadows here of, of the cars up in the air. But certainly brighter, certainly much more workable. And I would say, you know, this in underneath these lights is uh, something that someone would say it's adequate light. All right, so just for reference here, this is the size of the existing one. And this is this guy, so you can see you know, they are much lower profile. I mean, if you had any kind of headroom clearance issue, this would obviously solve a lot of that. And then just the amount of power that these take. And then, you know, these don't need any kind of deflector because of the way these are set up here. All the light goes down, whereas these need the back reflector to help get all the light output down to the ground. So for this one, I'm just gonna take this one off. We'll cut this wire. We're actually going to put a, a adapter on there. So we go from this wire to a female a standard 110 plug, and then we'll just plug these in and turn them on. All right, so here it is all installed. You can see it's on the hook there. I'm not using the dimmer lights um, wires, but then we have the 110 just going into a little adapter here and then it's going back to the main power. So very simple to install and uh, quick and easy. All right, so now the moment of truth, we just got the LED ones installed. You can see we only have the A19s on right now. So now we're gonna flip the switch and kick these LEDs on. There we go. So you can see much brighter and it's harder to even look at those lights. So let's go underneath there with the light meter and just see how big of a difference it is when we had the old lights, um, just that center row lit up as well. Okay, so here is the light meter and you know, going right underneath here, we're at uh, 700, 720, give or take. If I go back to the center of the barn here, I am over a thousand, 1200 lux right here. If I go over by the tractor now, you know, before I think we were 40 and then like 260. And, you know, now we're at about 320 here. So, 
you know, these lights are drastically brighter here. And you can see that it did fall off as we go over to the side, which means we need to put more of these LEDs up so that we cover these other parts of the of the uh, the barn here. So on this side now, we're like 250 by the hoist here. Uh, but overall, this is much brighter. I mean, here it's a nice, clean white light, so it's uh, it really makes all the the colors pop and really helps you to see a lot. So I, I like it, you know, I was a little bit concerned that it wouldn't be as um, diffuse as needed without a you know, diffuser panel, but they seem to do a really good job of actually spreading the light out so that it's a, it's a soft fade as you go away from the light.